friends. So in light of all the political craziness that's been going on, I thought um, I, I could give my two cents. So for whatever they're worth, um, our nation is insane right now. This is a serious um, spiritual warfare kind of time. And um, I just wanted to not only say who I'll be voting for in November, for those of you who are like, I don't know what to do, you know, that's real. Um, but also just kind of give some uh, perspective and hopefully a little hope. So right now our country is insane because the Democrats for years now have been trying to pull the Bible from schools, from um, state buildings, from government buildings, from, from gravestones at Arlington, guys, the ACLU. Like, Democrats have been trying to delete God for years. Um, so number one, if you're a Christian and you're voting for them, I would suggest you research things because I hope you don't know what they stand on. Because if you know what they stand on and you call yourself a Christian, um, I would not like to be you on Judgment Day. Um, we all know, this this one is pretty, pretty well known, that um, pro-life stances tend to lean towards the Republican side and those who are for abortion, um, even if there's like a rape situation, whatever, any kind of situation, Democrats are always killing babies. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry to have to say it like that, but it's just the truth. Um, now, if you're a Democrat and you're not a Christian, this video is not for you. Now, the transgender issue, they love to use that to pull at your heartstrings because it's true that a lot of people who are gay and bisexual, um, they're hurting. They feel like not accepted. They feel like they're stepping out of something um, on their own. And it's because they are. They're not accepted. The Lord does not accept it. And if you are a Christian, you're not to accept this. Does that mean we treat them coldly, meanly, without love and concern or respect as a human? Absolutely not. But I cannot tell you the number of people who have reached out to our team that were dealing with identity issues because they, they wanted freedom. And we said, be who you are. <laughs> you were born a man. Be who you are in Jesus' name. You were born a woman. Be who you are in Jesus' name. Let's, let's see what the word has to say about it. You are beautifully created. You're wonderfully and fearfully made. Let's learn about who we are through the word of God. And I'm telling you right now, it is the only way that people who are dealing with identity crises can be made whole and find peace and fulfillment and live great lives. I'm telling you right now, the Democrats love to use that and they'll compare it to the race. They use the race card. Like, don't they love that race card? Lord have mercy. And if I wasn't almost every race under the sun, um, I probably couldn't do this video. So praise the Lord for that. But they will use the race card. They'll call you a racist if you, they don't like what you say. And generally Democrats don't like what you say if what you're saying is from the word of God. So that should be your first clue, Christian, not to vote for a Democrat. I don't care if you're like, I'm not a Trump fan. I just don't like his attitude. It's like, guys, if a mechanic is working on your car, do you ask what ethnicity he is? Do you ask, oh, what's your background, sir? No, you say, hey, are you a good mechanic? And then when he shows that he is, you hire him. This is not, this is like any other job. For president, I want someone who's gonna make it so that my milk doesn't cost $50,000. I want someone who's not going to murder babies. I would like someone who believes in Israel because Jesus was Jewish, guys. We need to fight for the people who fight for God's people. And Trump, sure, he's rude sometimes. I think he might be a baby Christian. I don't know him personally, but I do know that the legislation he passed when he was in office made it so that there were no wars. There was um, a lot more Merry Christmas during Christmas times on television shows. It's like he gave them license to talk about Jesus, guys. And anyone who can do that and ask Franklin Graham, son of the infamous Billy Graham, to come speak at his convention, I don't see Biden saying the name of Jesus in any other use but a curse word. So if you are a Christian, I am saying in the name of Jesus, pray about what I am saying, look in your Bible, and see how to vote. I will be voting for Trump, and um, not because he's a perfect man, not because there's nothing wrong with him, but because his fruit, you will know them by their fruit. Um, and I have a lot of hope for this nation. When I meet people, 
Um, they're not nearly as angry <laughs> all over this country as the news portrays them to be. Um, I have met gay people, I've met straight people, I've met Christians and non-Christians, and we all seem to be really upset with the Democrats right now because we don't want our children being taught by their teachers how to do sexual things. This is disgusting, perverted, and the Lord's not happy with it, guys. So, warning to the Christians out there who are voting Democratic, please rethink about it, guys, because Judgment Day is coming. And I know these, these are harsh words. The truth sometimes is not super fun. But if we'll actually listen and adapt ourselves to the truth, and the truth is Jesus Christ, um, good things, hopeful things. He promises us a hope and a future. If you love his law, if you obey his law, believing in him is not enough, guys. It's not enough. The demons cringe with the belief that they have in the Lord. They believe in him too, but they don't obey him and they don't love him. We have a responsibility, guys, to vote correctly. Um, if you're independent because you're still not sure, fine. But whatever you do, do not vote for the Nazi party, guys. Do not vote for people who want to exterminate certain sections of, uh, of, our, of our nation, who think, oh, if you believe in guns and saving babies, we hate you, we're sorry that the assassin missed Trump's head. What is this, guys? Pray for these people, they're broken. They have a deep hurt. Pray for them, don't vote for them. Jesus' name, amen, huh?